Welcome back, you guys. We're going to go ahead and get started now with Unit 4. We're going to be talking about groups and the power there within. Facebook groups. Um, I, it was confusing to me when I first got on Facebook, like, what's a page? What's a profile? What's a group? Oh, my confusing God. To you. <laughs> like, I, I, I messed that thing up. I'm still messing it up. You guys bear with me. But practice is helping me get a little bit more efficient at it. These, these things are powerful. Um, and you can kind of think as groups to help me as a community, like, you know, every city you live in is a different community. They have their own little restaurants and vibe. And we can do that in Facebook, which is phenomenal. And we brought on to start this unit off Tim and Sarah Cox guys. They have been some of the early adopters as well within our team and within the, within life vantage. Um, both of them, I would, I would have to say by my kind of just thinking how this has played out, Tim and Sarah have been around the Facebook thing, like really educating themselves, maybe one of the first in our organization as leaders and uh, have a, a wealth of information. So we thought it was only right that they'd be a part of these units and sharing some of their, the concepts of why groups work and maybe some of their stories. So thank you guys for jumping on. Sarah, Tim, share some knowledge. Hey, thanks guys. Thank you for having us. And we're, we're so excited to be working with you guys and uh, particularly on the social media part. I, I think both of us uh, developed what we consider our social media strategy out of necessity. You know, we spent the first few years of really building our business, pounding the pavement. We traveled a lot. We had a blast. We had a lot of fun doing it. And I would say neither of us really realized how tough this business could be with a family. And so when we got married and had a baby, we just had this big epiphany, like, man, if this is this challenging with one baby, what is it like for an entire family? And so it really sent us on a mission to learn this social media stuff and how we can utilize Facebook. And it's just been a blast. And what I love about these Facebook groups is it just gives you the access to people that honestly you wouldn't have access to. And it allows you to share information in an easy way. And it also gives us a chance to show people our community, right? We, they get to see our community. You know, the truth is, and today, guys, to be competitive in any business, you have to have some sort of online version of what you do. We see the explosion of Amazon. We see Blockbuster disappeared because they didn't have an online strategy, right? We've seen things like, like Netflix come. And so if you don't have a proper online strategy, it's going to be challenging for you because let's face it, guys, people want to do things with convenience, right? They want to do things from the comfort of their home, right? We can order stuff from Amazon. It like literally, we ordered a replacement for a product yesterday afternoon and it showed up this morning at our house and we didn't have to leave. And so being able to do things online is just the way things are moving today. And I love this uh, Facebook ATM strategy because it allows us to build a business from wherever we are. Even if you still love to build a business offline, in between, you can share the information with these Facebook groups and introduce them to this amazing community of people that are just having a blast uh, building the business and sharing these amazing products. And so, um, Sarah, why don't you share some of the success stories? Because guys, we've had people that have been in the business for a long, long time and really haven't done much of anything. And recently, they've had some crazy success stories utilizing this ATM strategy. Yeah, using the Facebook groups really allows you to streamline and simplify the process in a way where all of the information is in one place. There's no guesswork on what to share and where is the information that I'm looking for. And it opens up your database to everyone that's on Facebook. And it really connects you with people that you may not have come into contact with otherwise. And we have people on our team that have been involved for what, like three years, years that were really struggling for different reasons, whether it be uh, family obligations, uh, financial obligations, not able to get out and meet with people for different reasons that are so excited about this ATM method and using the groups that they have had more exposures in one day than they did in an entire year before. And that excitement alone is lighting people up and it's encouraging to them to be able to share this business. I've had conversations with people um, through Facebook that literally led to adding them to the group, tagging them in the pinned post, and then signing up as a customer within minutes. 
I actually private messaged someone um, on their birthday just to start conversation, which led to him saying, if you hear of any opportunities to make more money, I'm all ears. So we added him to the group, tagged him in a message, and now he's getting his money together. So all of that happened so quickly, and I never even had to leave my home, and it wasn't even my intention that day when I woke up to speak to these people. I had no idea that I was going to be connected with people on Facebook. Um, it just opens up your, da your database so much more. Yeah, and guys, you've heard it all the time. It doesn't matter what works. It matters what duplicates. And so we're having a blast. Yeah, I actually, I've got a new distributor who signed up like five months ago. And we've been talking about her first home meeting for a while now. And she gets excited. And she's like, this is the week. And then she talks to her friends and she's like, they're not available. So when I showed her this ATM method, she said, oh, there's hope for me now. And I'm <laughs> like, yes, we can do this. Because she also, she also has a young baby. So when I talk about going out and do one-on-ones, it's like, that's when her baby naps or her baby's sick that day. We can still share the information with people regardless of what's going on in your life. Even if you're an extreme introvert. That's what I love about the system. And by nature, I'm an extreme introvert. And having conversations with people online is just so easy compared to just meeting people out in public. So we love it. And uh, we thank you guys for having us on here to share some information. Guys, use the system, right? Share it with your team and just go all out and make some magic happen with ATM. So we'll hand it back over to you. Thanks, guys. That's awesome. And um, love your leadership. So happy you guys are part of what we're doing and are a massive, massive part behind the scenes of putting all these groups together. Thank you for everything you do. I'm going to share our screen now. We're going to um, start to go through a PowerPoint that we've created that will really, I hope, um, help everyone grasp what we're doing. So once again, this is Unit 4, guys, Facebook groups. And I want you to take a look, um, and we are highlighting our four groups, our four communities for Facebook. And there is a fifth that we're using right now. It's for our physique challenge. But for all intents and purposes, these are the four groups that we're going to use every day throughout the year. And so what you see first is Life Biohack. Now just know that this is a group that's for our pre-customers or people that are not uh, customers yet, right? And it's gonna be one of the groups that has the most activity in it. The next group you see is a better way. Again, this is pre-distributor or someone that would be interested in the business, maybe more than the product. And it's okay that you add people to both groups because they may be interested in both product and business. Then we make a transition to now people who have become customers are distributors. So the customer group for the new customers is LifeVantage Products, Insight, and Education. And then the final group is our Team True Blue group, and that is for our distributors only. Each one of these communities serves a different purpose, and the activity within these groups is going to be different. Nonetheless, in all of the groups, what we want you guys posting, and we're gonna talk about this a couple times, is results and excitement. You're gonna hear that quite a bit. Results and excitement is what we wanna put in these groups. And we're gonna walk you guys through the process of actually having to do that. We wanted to give you a visual of what those four groups look like. And um, this thought of working together is something that I really want to hit home on because it can't be just left up to a couple people to do all the posting. The more distributors that are posting in these groups on a regular basis creates a really exciting environment and culture. And so um, be active in these groups. But that activity needs to be, again, wrapped around results and excitement because that's what makes people want to be a part of what we're doing and it's what's going to help people join your business. So um, we're going to walk everybody through this process. I think now's the time that we're going to share the screen again, but we're going to do so on actually my cell phone. And we're going to actually kind of show you guys how to add someone, how to tag, and then Lynette's gonna take over on some scripts. So let me share the screen one more time. Bear with me as we come out of this. Uh, stop share. 
and then we will share into my cell phone. Give me a sec. All right, there we are. Um, and into our Facebook account. So here's my Facebook account. And the little hamburger at the bottom is um, how you're going to find your shortcuts, right? So you'll say see more. But as you notice, those first two, the shortcuts, or where some of these groups already are. So let's just go to Life Biohacked, all right? So I've opened it up. Of course, you're looking now at what it looks like from the administrator's side. It's telling me there's some pending posts. But nonetheless, you're gonna start where this Add Member button is. So you would just click on there, and then you would add the person's name, okay, if it doesn't come up, all right? So once they're added, you're gonna to have to give the administrators depending on what group and what time of day you add them, you have to give the administrators um, at, you know, within minutes to a few hours normally, um, but for sure within the first 24 hours, um, they will be approved to the group because each one of these groups now have four to five uh, administrators and moderators helping us um, add people to the group, but also making sure we're getting the right content. We're very sensitive in these groups about the content. Um, it's kind of like a family. Like we don't want the bad guys getting into our family, right? Like we want, we, we're going to protect our family. And so unfortunately there are people with bad motives and we're going to do the best that we can to make sure we've got people in these groups with the right motives and the right behaviors. And one thing I'd say too is if there is a delay in a person being added, it may be because there were a couple questions that they had to answer to before being added and they haven't answered it yet. Or maybe you have asked to add 25 people at once and the administrators are questioning whether or not you actually went through the pr process of asking permission to add those people. So maybe they're trying to reach out to you to find out more to the story. And so that would be something to consider that could possibly cause a delay. So the next thing you do once you have added your friend is you wanna go to the pinned post, all right? So everything starts at the pinned post. And um, I've seen a little confusion in here before where people are just posting on the wall, but they're not really tagging anybody. So I would go to the pinned post. So this is the pinned post. And then I would write a comment in the pinned post. So let's just say like for Lynette, that. for instance, right? So I would type in Lynette's name, right? And then she comes up, you see her, I'll click on her name. And now you see her name is in the highlighted area down in the comments, right? And that is what tagging is. She's now been tagged in the post. And I can type whatever I want in here, like Lynette, this is the group I was referring to. And she is going to get a notification in her Facebook notifications um, about this. And it really creates a shortcut uh, for her. All right. So I think that's all we wanted to show here as far as what the groups are, how to add them to the group and then how to tag them. So we've talked about adding, tagging. Um, we want to make sure it's highlighted there that we're asking permission before we add people to the group. We've seen people add uh, as many as 60 to 80 friends to these groups and never ask permission. Well, and here's the thing. If you're that person that's getting added to the group, you don't want to be added unless you know what the reason for being added is. It's your choice to say yes or no. And so it's important that you ask permission. Otherwise, you may tick off your contact. Yeah, I mean, think of, as a community, like, would you like to be dropped off in a foreign city and not know why you're in the city, like, and not know anybody in the city? Like, make sure you're getting permission before you add people to these groups. And then once you've added them to the group, you tag them, give them the, the little comment there. This is the group I wanted you to take a look at. And then what we're going to do is message them, right? This is the, the M in ATM, the message. And the message is not what you put in the post. The message is what you put in Messenger, Facebook Messenger. Personally letting them know that I've added you to this group. I've put you in the pin post and I'll be in touch in a couple days, all right? And, and the key is that we're following up with them. Because if you're not following up, um, nothing's gonna happen. Like, I mean, rarely is someone gonna reach back out to you before you reach out to them because people are busy. And so we've prepared some scripts for you. Lynette's gonna go over these and kind of walk you through 
what three scenarios or so as you you go through this process yeah so you know a lot of times people are just at a loss as to what to say and so these messages are just ideas of scripts that you can use that first one says hey Tony I know health and fitness is important to you I have access to a private Facebook group that's loaded with great information on health and weight loss I'd love to add you to it and have you check it out I personally have had amazing results implementing what I, what's on that page. I think you'd love it. Can I add you? So, and honestly, you guys in Messenger, that could even be a voice message if you wanted it to be. You can use some influx, uh, fluctuation in your voice um, just as opposed to just typing in the message. And it doesn't have to be your personal story. You can share a story. You can say, hey, I'm feeling better and my friend has lost 12 pounds right. or someone I know has lost 50 pounds or... Guys, stories sell, right? But make sure you're sharing those results in your message. Right. Here's another one. Hey, Tony, I know you've been looking at LifeVantage for a while and probably still have questions. We just launched a behind the scenes group where we're diving into exactly what we do. It will help you to get all the information to make the best decision. Can I add you? So again, this could be somebody that man, maybe you've put this in front of a year ago and it's nothing's really come of it. Well, now you've got an opportunity and excuse because you've got this new way of getting information to people and you can send a message similar to that. Here's another invite idea. Go live on your profile page with a call to action at the end. So maybe you make your live about something health related, something pertaining to what we do here at LifeVantage. And as you've given those tips and made it a valuable live, the way that we just kind of discussed earlier, then at the end, give a call to action. Hey, if you guys want meal plans, tips, support, if you wanna live longer, look better, feel better, comment the word group below, and I'll send you a link to our private Facebook community, and we'll add you into our support group. How cool is that, you guys? And so if just it, before you do your live, you kind of familiarize yourself with that verbiage as to how you want to put it out there. And then you get that engagement and ability to add people to the group. The whole deal, it's almost like adding somebody to a group is like a funnel. It allows you to funnel them information that you would not have been able to otherwise. Now, part of the ATM is that you message somebody, right? So people are like, okay, now I've added them, what type message do I send? Once you've added them and tagged them in the pinned post, your immediate next step is to message them in Messenger. Here's a couple options of messages to send. Hey, I just finished adding you to the, whichever group you added them to. Additionally, I tagged you in a post that I feel will give you the best overview. Once you've looked it over, let me know, or I can just touch base with you in a few days. I'd love to get your feedback. The other one there says you've been added to the Life Biohacked group, you could say. Check out the pinned post that I tagged you in. I'll be touching a few days to find out what you thought. So you guys, it's just to give you an idea of things that you can say. You don't have to say it verbatim, but those are options of what to put in that message after you have tagged them to that pinned post. And here's the other thing. You've already set up the follow-up in that message, right? So now you follow up a few days later, whatever it was, whatever you told him it was gonna be. Hey, Tony, just touching base to see if you checked out the Life Biohack group I added you to. What did you like best about what you saw? Or, hey, Tony, how awesome is the A Better Way group? What did you like most about it? So you're trying, you know, <laughs> doesn't that sound familiar, you guys? That's how we've all learned to build this business when you follow up. What did you like best about what you saw? That doesn't change. What I love about this whole method is that it's just another tool in the toolkit, right? We have lots of ways to expose this business, and this is one of them, and we just want to teach you the most effective ways to go about doing that. Yeah, whether you're building online or offline, it's all about conversations mm -hmm. and getting people engaged in having a conversation with you and finding out what their needs are supplying those needs so here's some things that you need to know right if you don't know where to find these groups in Facebook ask your upline to help you with that and some of these groups have questions that must be answered before you are in or allowed to be into the group. And that's a protection to the group. Like some of these groups 
are, are only for people who are customers or are distributors because we can share different information in there. And the other thing, guys, is we want to protect you. I'm just going to tell you guys, you know, the world's full of bad people with bad intentions and we're going to try to do the best that we can to keep them out of our communities. And that's why those questions are in there. So if they're not answering the questions, they're not going to be allowed in to some of those groups because we just need to know why they're here and if they qualify to be. In some of these groups, there are files and pictures that have a tremendous amount of resources. As, and some of those are like guidelines. So if you want to know what you can and cannot or should not post, read through those guidelines and get familiar with the groups. Also, a project we're working on, and uh, we're probably about halfway through, is putting together a very robust uh, FAQ section in our groups so that there will be scripted and video responses to uh, whether it's objections or questions about the ATM process or our, our business in general. And once again, guys, follow up is a necessity. Like it's, it's all about follow up and it's all, it's so, it's so easy to put people into these groups and forget. Like it's super easy to do that. And so we wanna make sure that you're following up and that you're trying to create conversations and uh, getting to that second response or that third response is really what we want you guys to do. So the way you're gonna do that is by asking questions. Asking questions like if you're gonna leave a message, the last sentence should not be a statement. The last sentence should be a question. So that leads them to respond to you so that we can continue the conversation. So we hope that this has been a very beneficial unit for you about Facebook groups, communities. Uh, help us add value. And if you do so, we're gonna help you build a very big business online. This ATM, I like ATMs. You like, I know you like, I know you like, <laughs> I like AT ATMs. We all like ATMs. <laughs> So you guys, thanks to Tim and Sarah again, and uh, we'll be coming back real soon with unit number five.